Hello and welcome. My name is Aisha and I will take you through this webinar today. Um, this is the first in a series of short webinars which aims to provide you with a brief overview of what Ipale is. Webinars which follow um, this one will concentrate using, on using specific tools and resources on Ipale or what we call the platform, namely using the partner search tool and using community of practice and collaborative spaces tools. We also have a longer webinar on how Ipale can help you with your Erasmus Plus projects, so please take a look at that. But anyway, on to um, an overview of Ipale, which should form an introduction to the platform. So the webinar today will go through uh, what Ipale is, what it's used for, what tools are available, and what content is available, and how you can get involved. So what is Ipale? So hopefully you will know that Ipale stands for the Electronic Platform for Adult Learning in Europe. It is a free multilingual community platform bringing together adult learning professionals and practitioners from across Europe. So that's people such as researchers, teachers, trainers, volunteers, policymakers, youth workers working with young adults and those working with needs, and anyone else with a role in adult learning. There are 36 Ipale national support services across Europe, which are basically Ipale offices in different European countries where Ipale staff provide support to users in their country. Okay, Ipale has over 42,000 registered users, and this is continuing to grow. We have 23,000 Facebook followers, and 16,000 followers on Twitter. So please go on social media and I'll provide you with the links at the end of this webinar so you can get involved to find out all the up-to-date news on Ipale. So what is the aim of Ipale? So Ipale aims to increase the quality of adult learning and education across Europe through allowing you a platform where you can network and talk to like-minded people across Europe Discuss important topics in adult learning, sharing your ideas and best practice to improve provision and practices in adult learning, and overall to collaborate with other people about a subject that you're passionate about, adult learning. This often leads to new partnerships and projects and it can provide you with vital personal development options and resources too. There are a number of tools on the platform um, to help you to connect and actively take part in the Parley community as we can see here. Okay, these tools um, aim to keep you up to date on news taking place in the adult learning sector through the e-newsletter for registered users, which you'll receive once per month, the newsroom, blog pages, the resource center, and the calendar or events tools, as well as the policy icon, and the community of practice and collaborative spaces. As I said, there is an EU policy area where you can look at key EU policy affected um, or affecting adult education, as well as research commissioned by the European Commission amongst other tools. We have areas where you can create online groups or join existing groups to discuss specific topics or themes of adult learning and education, and that's in the communities of interest groups. And then there are also collaborative spaces. These are also groups, however, they are closed groups where members are invited um, to join the group privately. This will allow you to speak privately with other people. For example, if you have a project, you can speak to them privately on there. You can actually add your own news items, resources, events and blog content to Parlay 2 to share your work, thoughts and ideas. However, don't forget in order to do this, you must be registered. So let's have a quick look at the Apale homepage and some of the content pages for a moment to give you a good overview. Okay, so here's our page. You can see that I am logged on here. If you've not registered, you'll have a register icon here instead, which I can show you. So it says here register, so you would use that instead. But as I'm logged in, I have access to all of these. So you can access community practice, club your spaces, blogs, events, news, the user directory. And if you're signed up to any groups, you have access your groups here. Um, 
Tools and portals, you can see Resource Center, Partner Search, Nordic Portal, Glossary, Useful Information and Help here. You can see from the themes icon that we have five main themes of learner support, learner environments, life skills, policy and quality. And under these there are a num number of topics to get you involved. Okay, as well as these drop down menus, you will have noticed that we've got icons here. So if you'd like to access the partner search, you can go to the drop down menu, click partner search, or you can simply click on the icon here. The home page provides you with an overview of latest content. So you can see we have blogs, news items, and you can go on to the next page to see further. Main discussions are on the right hand side of the page as well. Okay, so Ipale also has thematic months. So this month, we've got the month of projects and partnerships, which you may have seen in the blog here. So let's have a look at that page very quickly. So the focus this month, projects and partnerships. So we've got an overview of what this is. And then you can submit content or get involved with discussions based on that thematic month. However, we always do welcome any content that is outside of this theme as well. So if you've got something else you'd like to talk about, you can do that. So in July, we had um, the theme of prison education. And after every thematic month, we have a summary created by the central team, which oversees and supports all the national teams. So we can see the Ipale summary for July 2018 focus on prison education here. So you can see why we're assessing prisoner skills, revolutionising prison education. And if you'd like to comment on this, you can log in or obviously register and then you can log in here. So last month we had the theme of media literacy and this entailed a discussion. So we do post these up on the platform and also provide information about them in the e-newsletter. So you can actively take part and uh, converse with people from across Europe about a topic which our um, community find very useful. Okay. Usually comments will open early, as you can see here the comments will open from the 24th of September, although the actual discussion on live took place on the 27th. So even if you don't have time to join the discussion, you can make your comments known for discussion and then log back on later to have a look. So as well as the thematic months, we also have uh, thematic days and thematic weeks. So an example of thematic week that I can give you is the caring and learning week that we had uh, back in June. So that uh, concentrated on informal care or carers and a group of learners with unique needs and barriers to adult learning and how we can identify them and best support and engage them in learning. So in order to do this, we... Uh, got some resources and some projects involved, organisations, and they all con contributed some content, so there's some interesting blogs, and uh, we had a discussion about this. Again, you can always get involved with, on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn in this as well. So since I've mentioned blogs, let's have a look at a blog. So as I said, media literacy was our theme last month. So as part of this, we had a blog submitted by the Duke of York program, IDEA, which is the Duke of York Inspiring Digital Enterprise Award. Um, and in this, they inform you what the program is, what the award is, and then inform you a bit more, providing the resource through IDEA booklet, a link to the actual website, and then why it's useful, and then the bio of the author at the bottom. Okay. If you're interested in media, let's see, we also have other 
links here to other media content that might be of interest to you. And again, you can always comment on these blogs. Um, another example is of a prison education blog um, from back in August. Okay, so it was written by James King, who's at the Scottish Prison Service, um, on the topic. So you've got someone actually involved in the sector writing a blog about it and what they're doing. So you can get involved in that and again comment by logging in and registering. So this was a two-part blog, so you can read the second part by clicking on this link here. We also had using music as a tool for development, education, rehabilitation in prisons for um, offenders, and so on. Okay. So as I've mentioned, there are groups on the platform um, that you can get involved in to discuss specific topics. Those are our community of practice groups. So here, I have a quick look at some of those. They're in alphabetical order. Onto the search. So you can see we've got adult and community learning practitioners in Greece. We've got one in Ireland. So people can connect with people in the local community. We've got Wales. We've got one on a specific topic again of digital literacy, one on women in rural areas, and so on. So if you'd like to just join a group, you can su subscribe to the group. So these are the public um, platforms where you can have group discussions, share ideas, share best practice, and maybe even think about forming project ideas. So for more information on that, you can join and look at our mini webinar series about communities of practice and the private groups, which are the collaborative spaces. Okay, so we Parley um, also put up um, events and resources. And you can access those and have a look by clicking on the resources tab and the events tab. So if you have an event coming up or a resource that you would like to share that would be useful to the adult education community, then please do contact us and we can help you do that. So that's our brief overview today. So I'd like to thank you for joining us. And I hope you found this useful. Again, please do register now to access all the resources and to get involved. And uh, the website there is on the screen where you can register. And then please do contact us. So thank you again for your interest in Nepali and the community tools available on the platform. I hope you found the webinar useful and informative. If you'd like to find about other tools on the platform, such as how you can upload news items, upload blogs and resources to share, please have a look at um, the, the webinars um, and contact us for help um, with the email on the screen there, ipaleuk at ecorus.com. If you are interested in taking a more active role in Apale to promote the benefits of the platform, you can volunteer to become an Apale UK ambassador. So just again, email us for further details. Um, we also have a Prezi available on YouTube that you can watch to provide, that provides an overview of the role. So again, please get in touch with us for any questions or queries, or if you'd like to get involved further. So thank you for joining the webinar. Goodbye. <laughs>